The Honorable John Hancock presided. Tom Benson, this is Johnny Hancock. Oh, hello, Ben. Well, I just arrived to get some coffee cake. Of course, when the Continental Congress is out of the Continental Breakfast. I hardly agree, Tom, but we already have a selection of coffee, Jesus, and of course, individually wrapped Danishes. True, but I thought Johnny had something to do with this morning. He's been after your big, big strain since we voted to endorse the Declaration of Independence this morning. A brilliant document, Tom. Now we shall hang together or we shall hang separately. It's been over, over a year since the first draft was filed between us and the British. Just a month later, we elected George Washington to head the contract army. We've been unofficially at war ever since. King George has objected, rejected our efforts in reconciliation. Tom paid for the next week and he wrote that these are the times that try men's souls. Yes, that was well cut. What does it mean by that? Well, I think my own mask is a bit better with a cute line. Less is large my mental more, but little will just keep me in short. Yeah, well, sure, but I don't really think... More around with this. Here skulls like snug as a bug in a rug. What exactly does that mean? That's not the point. I've got four rapping words out of ten. That's 40% my word. You won't find that in any of the British poets. Check out Shakespeare. Or poets. They've got 10, maybe 15% my next. That's great, Ben. Great. <laughs> it's crucial. The British may have better trained soldiers. They may have more money, expanders, and weapons. But America has the rhymes. Victory will be hard. <laughs> oh, oh, look out. Here comes John Hancock. Where is it? Where is it? What are you looking for? Pretty exciting, isn't it? He did it, or is it? Here, Tom said. He wrote it. 